Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 82 of Direwolf20's Age of Engineering series. I have exciting news for you guys for today. I am setting up some proper trophies. How cool is that? Uh, so I'm, I'm kind of mapping out where I want these things to land. I think in power here might be a good setup. Uh, and then sturdy casing was next. Kind of going down the line. Machine, machine, so let's see, electric crucible, machine structure. These guys are later. Machine block, machine frame. Boy, oh boy, we have a lot of things here. Uh, atomic calculator, pattern storage, machine chassis. Right, so machine frame. Or was it chassis? I think chassis was next, and that looks like a frame. Yeah, that's what's up. Uh, and then the nuclear age is what? Angel ring, machine structure, electric crucible. I think pattern storage. Ooh, look at that fanciness. And then over here, so next up was the uh, the calculator, and that looks like some kind of machine something. Kind of core steel casing, machine block, electric crucible, atomic calculator. Electric crucible, or is it machine structure? No, that's not the right one. It might be the electric crucible. Yeah, that looks right. Beautiful. Um, and then some kind of machine block, and then the space age one. So machine structure, that was the space one. Uh, machine block. All these things have the word machine in them. It's making it very hard. Uh, and then mechanical, draconic, and angel ring. Cool. There we go. The trophy room. All right, it's not a room dedicated to trophies. Yet, it kind of makes sense, right? So I'm going to stick with it. So I say that that is my trophy room. People have been asking for it. Uh, hey, uh, what's going on today, Direwolf? Uh, that's a good question, audience. Let's see. Um, I noticed that I fly kind of slowly, so I'd like to get a speed upgrade going on in my boots at some point, but I might do that kind of off-camera-ish because it's very similar to things uh, that you've seen. Um, so last episode, we got an angel ring, which is super cool. Uh, and now we can fly around and do stuff. So I think our next goal should be to kind of follow along with the book. Um... So that's cool. The angel ring needs grid power, but you can upgrade it to wings of the bat, which is cost three flight. Well, my grid power is kind of broken anyway, so I'm not super worried about that. Um, then you can start towards work towards a creative RF power with the creative capacitor bank from Ender.io, which needs a chaotic core uh, for what you need to kill the Chaos Dragon, uh, the most powerful boss in the game. You can also get creative EU power from other things, so that's cool. So let's look at the creative capacitor just for fun. Uh, the recipe for that bad boy uh, is pretty complex. We need a solar panel controller tier 4. Uh, we're going to need a solar panel uh, 6 from Solar Flux Reborn. We need a vibrant photovoltaic cell. We need two draconic flux capacitors. We need a chaotic core. We need a quantum solar from IC2. We need an advanced solar generator from mechanism generators. And then we need an elite solar panel from Neotech. All these things seem to be quite expensive resource-wise. Uh, one of the things we'll definitely need is um, to get our hands on some awakened draconium, uh, which is not the worst thing in the world, except it does need those dragon hearts. Um, so basically, four draconium blocks, one, two, three, four, five, six draconic cores, and a heart gets us four awakened draconium at the cost of just merely 350 million RF. Uh, so ramping up RF production will probably be something like, granted we're working towards getting creative RF production, uh, right? But those creative capacitors um, don't do all that much. I think it's 200, is it two? It might be 25,000 RF per tick that Apple. So like, it's not, a, it's creative. Like you just plop it down and you get infinite power, but it doesn't create a whole lot of power. Um, so part of me wants to get a tier four solar panel going, which doesn't sound too terrible, uh, I would think. And I could probably just stick it right up there. Um, Cause that's where we've got our power input. So I could literally just throw a solar panel up here and that would be cool. I wish I could set up my draconic gear to like not take damage from outer space because that would be like the perfect 
thing. Uh, but I don't know that there's a way to do that. Anyway, uh, let me think about what's involved in getting a tier four solar and we'll be right back. All right, so a quick look, this shouldn't be too bad to make. Uh, so we need 32 structure blocks for a solar tier three and 49 solar cells. Uh, and then we need 81. So it's basically 32 more, right? Plus 30 is 79 and plus two is 81. Uh, so 32 more solar cells than I already have. Uh, and then we need 40 tier four structure blocks, so basically eight more uh, tier threes than I already have. And then we have to bump them all up to tier four, which requires another stars, but that's not really a gate for us anymore. So a tier four solar panel, uh, which peaks at 51,000 RF a tick rather than 15,000 RF a tick should drastically increase RF production to the point where we should be in really great shape for a really long time. Uh, so I wanna do that real quick. So that shouldn't be too bad. So 32 solar cells is what I'm gonna kick off here. Uh, so solar cell times 32 uh, needs a lot more capacitors. Uh, and that's about it. I'm uh, missing about 200 more capacitors. Uh, but otherwise, it's easy peasy, right? Um, so let's pop over to our IC2 room. Kind of really wouldn't mind coming up with a better way. Did I put these up? Yeah, I did. Okay, cool. So you should be in, let's do pattern mode, basic capacitor. Yeah, that's what I want. And I also want my UU matter bucket. So there should actually be... Nice. So I'm just going to push that all right into there and you can just run on repeat mode forever how is my mass fab doing like i'm assuming that you guys are just doing your thing down here uh you do appear to be uh and our mass fab appears to be doing its thing like i kind of set this all up a few episodes ago and haven't even looked at it since so good news is everything's be going pretty smoothly uh and hey you should have overclockers in you if i'm being honest uh let's put like six in there and see how that goes uh so that's definitely hurting power wise four still hurting power wise definitely faster uh but it hurts for power so what's your deal buddy uh so you are getting a direct line of top tier power right so 2048 rf or eu per tick because uh, I presume that you've got the appropriate level of ability to handle tier 4 power. Cool. Uh, so let's go with 3. I just want to see if you're going to have a net gain on... Eh, it's close enough that it's not a big deal. So I'll be back in a minute once I make the basic capacitors. Um, and uh, then I will kick off the solar cell production. And that's probably going to take a few minutes to craft. Uh, so we'll come back after that's all taken care of. Alright. That seems like a pretty good number of capacitors. Nice. Zoinks. Now off to, did I put my mining agent here? No, I don't think so. Not that I need to put my mining agent there. Um, but oh yeah, right, we wanted solar panels. So solar uh, times 32. That looks reasonable. And you know what else I wanted to try while I'm here? I want to check something, space station. Where are you at, space station? Yoinks. Um, I have to get used to not hitting F to fly. Like, I'm used to that mechanic, and I have to get used to not that mechanic. Um, everything comes in here from the bottom, right? So, what I... I want to try something. A couple people suggested that maybe the reason that I'm having issues with the load balancing... I think I'm going to try and switch this up. Uh, let me get all of you guys out of here. Hey, how'd I get in here? Oh, there we are. Um, might be fixed by changing the bottom of the thing from in-out mode. And that might be confusing the, the load balancing aspect of things. Though it sometimes works and sometimes doesn't, so I don't know what the deal is. But what I'm gonna try is make the configuration for the bottom just set to none. And then the back will keep on in-out mode. So configure bottom, not disabled, but none, right? So none and none on the bottom.
and that should be cool. Let's see what happens when I try to make the solar panels now. 32. So if you wanted to be right about this, right, we would see an even distribution for the energetic alloys, crossing our fingers that when we hit start, this thing kicks off and does things well. See, it's not. It's not. It's not working. Why you no work? You're a terrible, terrible person. Dire Wolf 20. So yeah, that totally didn't work quite as well as I would have hoped it would have. I mean, it's going to kind of evenly distribute because we have so many to craft, but blocking mode is definitely still not working, uh, which is a brutal bummer. Right? So you are in blocking mode. Do not push items. Right. Oh, well. Um, back to the old base. Let's go break down our tier 3 solar panel and get ready to make a tier 4 solar panel out in space. Um, so what I'm going to do is basically break all this stuff and I will see you guys back after I've done that. I love that I can sit here and see nether stars showing up after I requested a craft. Like that is just cool to me. Like nether stars are just magically appearing because that's automation and it's beautiful. Uh, so I've got, uh, 40 tier four structure blocks. I've got the, uh, you know, 81 or whatever it is, solar arrays. I've got the eight modifier cores. Now I just have to upgrade this guy to a tier four, which doesn't look all that hard. Uh, just needs another solar cell. So I'll just get one of those. Well, actually I'll probably need a few. So I'm gonna need one. Uh, so I need, uh, so I've got, so I'm gonna need a couple, right? So we're gonna need, uh, so we're gonna need, in total, we're gonna need another tier three. So that is two tier twos, each of which are two tier ones. So that means four tier ones, right? Uh, so we're gonna need uh, 16 empowered palest blocks. Um, and then we're gonna want some gold blocks and we're gonna want some solars. Let's get like, so four, six, seven. Seven more solars is roughly what we're gonna need. And empowered palest should be working. I would assume, like you're working towards getting, oh, you're working on prismarine shards and Palos Crystals blocks, cool. Nice. Love automation. Uh, we will be back in a minute when that's all done. Hey, nice, that wasn't so bad. Actually much faster to do in the Draconic stuff, I gotta say. Uh, so now what we should be able to come up with is um, some solar four, cool. Now we need two tier twos, which is gonna need eight diamantines, right? So empowered diamantine times eight. Back in a minute after I figure out Pete and Bennett. What? Bennett, 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 blah. Um, did we ever figure out like a good way to automate this? I think the answer was no. Uh, so let me get my fortune augments going here. And then we're also gonna have to figure out Pete. I never really did anything with Pete because it's rare that we act, well, I mean, it's not rare that we need it, but it's one of those things that like every now and then we need and then, oh right, we need that, don't we? All right, so back in a minute. I wonder if I can exchange her this thing. Would that be cool? It would be, except I didn't get the Pete from it, which is a bummer. It also doesn't actually seem to have used my bogger. Maybe because it is bogger? Oh well, that didn't go as well as I'd hoped, but it's fine. Also, FYI, I was just looking and it looks like the rainbow generator is actually disabled in this pack. Uh, so, no rainbow gen for me. Okay, so then we have the tier three and then we can use that to get up to a tier four. Nice. So now we should have everything we need. Let's put on our spacesuit. And the great thing about having an angel ring now is I can fly while wearing a spacesuit. No longer do I have to worry about the whole jetpack thing. So I'm even gonna disable the jetpack, as you can see with the red outline now. Uh, it's just a hotkey to do that. Um, it's a little bit slow, but I mean, you know, that's okay. Uh, so this thing does a huge amount of RF per tick. Uh, lightning rod, no, that's the other one. Uh, solar array. Tier four, 51,000 RF per tick, which is crazy. Uh, that's a lot more than, um, you know, we can get with other stuff. So let's actually get um, some draconic power transfer going on. 
Uh, basic IO crystal. There's, these ones have content saved or whatever. Um, I really don't know that it matters where I put this. So I'm just going to basically put this guy here. And then let him build. And in theory, that should be pretty good. And I'm assuming this is going to work in this dimension. If it doesn't, I'll go throw it back in the in the mining age. But I think it'll build here just fine and work. Multi-block structure complete at some point. Clicking lots. Are you missing something? You look like you're missing a solar panel. And that's okay. Except you really shouldn't be. I thought I mathed that out correctly. Are you just missing one solar panel or are you missing multiples? Nope, just looks like one. Okay, cool. That shouldn't take too long to craft. Back in a sec. All right, so this should work. Multi-block assembly complete. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, so then these guys go here. You're going to go here. You're going to go there. You're going to be set to output. You're going to be set to input. That's pretty much right. I think, no, that should be the opposite, right? Output and input. There we go. So now you're filling up your RF. Good. Uh, and then we just need the binder and say you bind. So let's check this out, right? Uh, right now we are getting a net gain of around two to 3,000 RF a tick, right? Boom. Zoinks. Now we're getting a net gain of 55,000 RF a tick. So that's a thing. How cool is that? I like it. Nice. So you are just killing it on power now. Uh, and it'll be fun to get this, see how, like, we haven't even, like, filled up 1% of this thing yet, right? So we have a ways to go still. Um, but at 55,000 RF a tick, hopefully we'll make some progress. All right, let's set up for Awakened Draconium next. Uh, so four of you, one of you, uh, we're going to want to make sure that this stuff is all properly set up. Uh, so we're going to want, I guess we should put, like, one of you in here. One, two three, four, Let's see if any of these have the, I don't think they do, all right, so five, six, seven, uh, and then you can whitelist draconium, are you on the count mode, yeah you are, so four draconium, and that should be good. So if we do that, are you going to transfer properly and start behaving? Uh, I did something wrong. Hold on. Probably connected one with like six. Yeah, I did Draconic Cores. One Draconic Core in there. Let's just double check the other Draconic Cores. Yeah, this one got six as well. So you should be one. Sometimes when you click in there, it gives you one. And sometimes it gives you six. And I just don't notice it sometimes. That should be cool. Yeah, you are. Nice. All right, that takes a while to craft, so we might want to bump this guy up to a higher tier of power transfer. Um, just because of, like, it'll speed up the charging of this. Because um, Awakened takes, what do we say, 350 million RF per craft. So we're basically just waiting for this to transfer 350 million RF. So definitely we could speed this up by boosting this power output to like a higher tier. Like we could do it to Wyvern tier relays, for example, um, and that would be better. But for now, we're good. Uh, I will wait for this to finish and then we'll teach the crafting recipe. And then what I think I'd like to do, um, so we're gonna wanna kill the Chaos Dragon. I think that should be our next goal. Um, so to do that, we're going to have to do a couple things, right? First, we're going to want to get, like, a really powerful set of weapons for killing the Chaos Guardian. Um, so we're going to want to boost our bow to Draconic tier, uh, and we're going to want to boost our armor to, to Draconic tier, and we're going to want to boost our um, power storage to Draconic tier, so, like, the Draconic Flux Capacitor. And we'll probably want to upgrade a lot of these, and we might even want to get Draconic tier crafting uh going so for that we're, we're basically just gonna need a lot of hearts right um I'm, I'm trying to think if there's a way and i might work between episodes a little bit to see if there's a way to automate killing the end dragon but i'm pretty sure there won't be um but we will look maybe there's something i haven't considered who knows um but yay we've got awakened so that's cool nice 
So then over here, I can come in and say, you get me awakened times four. So let's just test this craft. You know what I might do real quick? Let's let's boost the power transfers. So you are what? How how are, how is all this stuff connected? Um, so you get power from there, and you're feeding in directly from there. So if we wanted wyvern, we have a wyvern IO crystal that we could do. We have an energy relay. Can we get a wyvern wireless going? That doesn't look too bad. We'll just need two eyes of ender and two particle accelerators. And if we get to the point where we need to have a lot more of these, we could totally, you know, do that, but you know, we'll 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 work on it. Uh, particle accelerators need a few draconic cores, which takes a moment to craft. There's I don't think there's any way to speed up the electrical diamond or the end diamond crafting short of um, duplicating those machines and having multiple machines working at once. Um, but in theory now, uh, we should be able to break you. Let's get the Wyvern wireless going. We will connect you to um, it will probably be easiest just to do that. And then that. And that. And then what I'm gonna do, a little bit of annoying noise, sorry. I'm gonna replace this with this guy. We'll connect him so that now you're linked. And then you're gonna come over here. And you're linked. Cool. So you should be cool. And I'll just go ahead and for the sake of it link you as well. Nice. So now you should be back up and running, which will be good. Uh, let's try this out now and see how much faster it is with higher tier power. So I'm gonna request awakened times four, right? And that should craft everything it needs to craft. Start that process. Um, and we'll be back in a second when the diamonds are done, because that's like the slow part, right? Okay, so that should be good. Let's see how much faster this process is now. It should charge a lot quicker. See how much faster that charge is going? Because we're transferring power a lot faster now. Um, and if we upgrade to the next tier of Wyvern, like to like, you know, the next year, I think it's awakened, right? Um, draconic energy relay. That would be even faster. But yeah, that is noticeably quicker. Nice. All right. Uh, so let's. I think I'm going to want to get more hearts. So let me go. Um, you know what I should do? I know what I'm going to do. I am going to look into getting more gas tiers. Because uh, that's like the one thing that we can't really easily automate. Um, as part of the end crystal, but I can get them from bees. So I need apocalyptic bees, right? Uh, so apocalyptic is demonic and austere. Austere comes from modest and frugal. Frugal comes from modest and sinister. Sinister comes from cultivated and modest. Okay, so how are you guys doing over here? Because uh, a lot of you should be like cruising right along. Yeah, look at this. Wow, we have a lot of things going on over here. Sweet. Uh, so what I'm going to do... Uh, so we have a lot of cultivateds going on here. I would love um, to get some more blank gene samples. And I would also love to have um, some cultivated species stuff going on here. So let's, um, let's see if we can get lucky with a gene sample for bees. So I'll come back in a minute and once I get a cultivated species. Hey, there we go. Species cultivated. Nice. So from now on, I can get any cultivated, um, I can make a cultivated bee, like, you know, easily. Um, it just literally takes a second and we'll have a cultivated bee. Nice. I might need to make another machine for that to exist, but uh, that is cool. So gene species cultivated. I might wind up throwing any species type stuff in here um, just to keep. All right, nice. So um, let's 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 go through that. So if I want gas tiers, right? We need apocalyptic. So let's start with austere. Frugal needs sinister. So that's cultivated and modest. Do we have any modest? Because those come from um, modest hives, which are found in desert biomes. So let's put away these dudes and let's pop over. 
um, to the old base. Do we have a desert biome anywhere near our old base that we found thus far? The answer to that is no. So that's bad times. Uh, let's get ourselves a scoop. Uh, and we're going to want probably a couple modest bees. Uh, so I will be back in a minute once I have found a desert biome. It would be cool because if I had a bee already, I could use my habitat locator, but that requires a bee. So that's annoying. Um, thus far, no such luck. I don't even know what direction I'm traveling in, but I guess it's south. And yeah, we are not finding anything. Back in a minute. After days of searching, and I mean like days and days and days and days and days and days, we finally found something that resembles a desert biome. Now we just need to find a hive, and I think I have found it. Nice. Yeah, hey, what's up, dudes? I've come for your queen. Yay! We did it. And because it took me a bajillion years to find this, I am going to fly around and collect several of these, uh, just in case we need more in the future. Yay! I feel like that's probably good. How many of these are like pristine? Uh, just one of them so far. I didn't check what the other one was that I put in the A system already, but... Any more in this fancy desert here? There's one. Alright, to home we go. Um, remember, Ignoble's not the end of the world, just not as good as Pristine. There we go. Now to home we go. Uh, so advance this locator back to the base. Cool. Uh, B area. Now I'm pretty sure these guys need cactus um, for like flowers, basically. So let's get a piece of sand, which should be a quick and easy operation. Nice. And a cactus. Cool. Um, and I guess right here would be a reasonable place to put it. And what I'll do is I'm going to say we probably have enough of most of these. Like, I don't think we need industrious stuff going on anymore. We probably don't need cultivated stuff going on anymore. Uh, we probably don't even need frozen stuff going on anymore, to be honest with you. Uh, enders don't like their environment, but that's okay, because I'm not in a desperate need right now for more ender-based stuff. So let's get um, a cultivated drone with a modest princess of pristine stock and start working our way towards um, getting a gas tier B. So you guys can combine into a sinister queen. Do, 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 do. Uh, and remember, this has to run through one iteration of life. Um, so we're going to need something that emulates a hell biome. Uh, so biome. Let's get one of these dudes usually, and one of these dudes is usually part of it. Um, Hell emulation, dude. Okay, so we're gonna need another blaze powder and an environmental processor. Cool. Oh yeah, we've gotten lots of blaze rods. That's nice to see. All right, so uh, I will take out planes, I will put in that, and I'm also gonna take out the automation because I really just want this bee to die. Uh, oh, and they need, um, they need uh, the, the, the whatchamacallit, nether wart. Um, to breed and stuff. So let's get some soul sand and some nether wart, and that should also be kind of cool. So now you should be happy with your flowers nearby. Happy. Nice. They hurt a little bit, but that's okay. So back when the bee dies. All right, there we go. So um, I now have a Sinister Princess. I also got a Cultivated uh, Princess because we're going to want to do two things. Uh, first, I'm going to want to take my Cultivated and my Sinister to get a Fiendish. Then, once that's done, 
I'm going to want to take my Sinister and my Modest to get a Frugal. Cool. Okay, now you totally need to be in a hellish biome environment, I'm sure. Uh, you may or may not be happy here. Too cold, too humid. All right, cool. so you will probably need, like, at least a desert biome. Um, so let's do a desert emulation upgrade. That doesn't look too bad. Uh, so we'll just need the climate, the upgrade, and the... So we'll do Gendistry on this. So we'll do one of you. Okay, so next stage... Uh, we want to combine this fiendish princess with the sinister drone to get a demonic queen. Um, demonic is one of the components that we need for apocalyptic. Cool. So we've got a demonic queen now, so let's get her cooking. And then, oh yeah, look at that. Spewing fire. Nice. Uh, you are almost done. Um, and the frugal needs to be combined with modest. Right? Um, to make austere. And austere gets combined with demonic to make apocalyptic. So that's the other half of the apocalyptic B. So as soon as this one dies off, which she just did, uh, we can combine her frugal princess with, no, modest princess with frugal drone gets us an austere queen. Um, and then the offspring of these two Bs will lead towards um, what we ultimately want, which is the B that makes, oh yeah, a little explosion. Ow. No big deal. Just explosions in space. It's fine. We'll live. Probably. Alright, how'd we do? Uh, we have a demonic going on. Oh, it's the austeres that explode? Alright, cool. They I learned. Nice. So now, I should be able to combine... I really guess I don't care which... So I'm gonna combine these guys. To get our apocalyptic queen. You can stay. Well, I don't think I really need you. I'm just going to put you guys away. Uh, and you are our apocalyptic queen, so you're going to go in here with an automation upgrade. You don't like the flowers you've got? Where's my Bealizer? What kind of flowers do you need? TNT is your flower type? Okie dokie, then. I hope you don't, uh, you know, do anything with it. Nobody set off that TNT, by the way. All right, looks like she's quite happy. Wow, my 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 entropy is really high <laughs> at the moment on this armor. <laughs> Look at that, like it's almost used up. I'm trying to stay away from. I got the Ender Bees working, and I now regret it. Um, but you know, yeah, whatever. Uh, so you are actually functioning. I presume. All right, cool. You do explosions too. Nice. Good to know. Uh, Apocalyptic Queen. I just want to see like a little tick go through. Nice. 10%. Awesome. Um, you don't really need to have lifespan upgrades in you, uh, but I would like an automation upgrade. So let's do Gendistry. Get one of these guys. I could breed and effect none on her if I really cared that much, but I don't think I do. So automation upgrade on her. Um, another thing I wouldn't mind getting is that production ow upgrade, um, but that requires uh, royal jelly, which would require breeding the imperial line, which is not hard. It would probably take me about ten or fifteen minutes to do. I might do it off camera though. Um, yeah, that doesn't look terrible. Do I have common and cultivated hanging around? Do I have um? A cultivated. I have plenty of cultivated drones. I don't know if I have a common. Ugh. I should really breed the effect out of those guys. Um, but anyway, I'm going to let this thing produce um, gas tears, hopefully. Uh, and we'll come back next episode, and hopefully we'll have a bunch of gas tears, courtesy of uh, the Apocalyptic Queen. And we'll see what happens. For now, Daryl20, signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Might do the Imperial B between episodes. For now, take it easy.